If you have watched this channel for any amount of time, you know that I am not the biggest fan of the Nintendo Switch in handheld mode using just the Joy-Cons. I think that the, the buttons are too small, the grips are too small, the throw on the analog sticks are not what I really would prefer. Overall, this is not a great way to play in handheld mode. A great way to play in handheld mode is this guy here. This is the Fixture Gaming S1, and it is a, designed to allow you to use your Nintendo Switch in handheld mode by connecting it to your Switch Pro Controller. This has been my definitive way to play the Switch in handheld mode since the Fixture S1 came out. It is just well balanced, well put together, and overall just a great way to play in handheld mode. Except for the fact it doesn't work on the Switch OLED, which is actually what's playing behind me. Well, that is until now. See, Fixture Gaming has now come out with what they are calling the S2, and that does work with the Switch OLED. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. Thanks for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. Do me a favor, if this is your first time here, if you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way every time we do upload new content, you are kept the most informed and up to date. And like I mentioned, this is actually my Switch OLED playing docked behind me with MLB The Show 22. And I have to say, really a great playing version of this game. Bowling shoe ugly, but the play controls are tight. They're exceptional. I absolutely love playing this on my Switch. Now, if you want to check out my deeper dive into that game, I'll have that link for you right up there. Now, like I mentioned, the Fixture Gaming S1 has been my go-to handheld format for playing the Nintendo Switch since it first came out. This is actually one of the Founders Editions, and they even went so far as to personalize it for me, which I really do appreciate it. They recently announced that they were working on a Fixture Gaming S2 specifically for the Switch OLED. Now the main thing is the way that this actually holds the Switch in place, it slides into the rails. The Switch OLED being slightly wider, this doesn't work with it. However, like I mentioned, they've been hard at work on the Fixture Gaming S2 and that's what's inside the box. This is another Founders Edition. I went ahead, as soon as I saw these were available for order, I picked one up. And that's what's in here. Let's go ahead. I can't wait to try this out. Let's take a closer look. So here we have the Fixture Gaming S2 in the box. Now, before we take a real close look at this, I just again want to show you the legacy of where we're at. So this was the very first one that they designed. And you know, this is the Founders Edition. If you look here, you can actually see where it says Founders Edition. This is actually 3D printed. Uh, and then on the back, it has the Fixture S1 logo. And then on the other side, it actually has our channel name, which is really, really cool. I'm, you know, was thrilled when they did that for us. From there, they went into production, and here's what the production one looks like. And I got the uh, the blue and the red one, just I like the looks of it and whatnot. They added a few, you know, really key elements on here. They have the little rubber stoppers here for a little bit of extra friction against the back of your switch to make sure that it wouldn't slide out. The, uh, where it slides into the rails, I think are a little bit more precise. Nice little rubber pad here and where your Pro Controller sits as well, just to give you a little bit more uh, slip resistance if you do have this on a table, because you can use this in tabletop mode. Absolutely love both of these devices here. Just terrific. So now let's take a look inside the box at the S2. And yes, I know it says Fixture S1, but I'm assuming they're probably just reusing the exact same packaging. The instructions are identical as well. I mean, it's, it should be literally the exact same unit, uh, with just a little bit extra width. Uh, and again, thank you for your purchase, questions about your S1, uh, so on and so on and so forth. So let's take a look here. Now, one thing of note that this is the Founders Edition, uh, but this is injection molded, uh, is what it looks like here. This, this looks wonderful. This looks very similar to the production version of the Fixture S1, and it does have S2 on the back, so you can tell at a glance which variant you have. Now, there are two different color schemes. I, again, went with the red and the blue. I just, I like the way that that looks. Now, one thing of note, since this is the Founders Edition, it is slightly different than what the production version that we'll get in the summer of 2022. Um, I'm wondering if we'll have, like, on the S1, you know, the red and blue there versus where it's just got the, the little foamies here, which should actually work just fine. Um, overall, I'm actually surprised to see that it is injection molded. I was completely expecting something very similar to the original Founders Edition, where it'd be 
a 3D print. So let's go ahead and let's get our Switch OLED in here. So here we have our Switch OLED. We're just gonna slide off the Joy-Cons. And it looks like this should be exactly the same as what the original was. So just line up the tabs there. Oh, that's beautiful. That works beautifully. Now, one of the things I love about this too is the fact that you can actually use this in a tabletop mode as well. So you can play using your Pro Controller in a tabletop mode if you so desire. Um, and everything works exactly as it should here too. Now the biggest advantage of this though is the fact that you can actually use your Pro Controller in handheld mode. So let's go ahead, we're just gonna snap everything in. You know, very resounding snap. Now you can actually still charge your Pro Controller off the back or even use it in a, um, like a, a connected state using a USB cable if you would like to your Switch OLED. Um, Again, wonderfully balanced. You can adjust this as well. We're gonna slide that down. There we go. This is pretty much how I like to play. Let's actually give you uh, a, a little bit closer look of everything too, so you can actually see the, you know, the LEDs on the Pro Controller here. Looks like I've got it shifted to the right just a little bit. We're gonna slide it on over there. You know, nice, smooth. The way that it holds the system in there, I, I love the way that this thing just overall works. Now, one thing I am, actually two things I am curious. We are gonna just set this to sleep real quick. I just wanna see if it'll fit the original. Now, I mean, there's a reason why they have the S1 and the S2 now, but I mean, people are gonna ask. And no, you can see the gap right there. So while we are firmly in the rail on that side, you can see there's quite a bit of gap there. So uh, you cannot use this with the original switch. Good to know. So you will need to have one unit for each system if that's what you would want. So one thing I will say, at least initially, I kind of wish the rails, if anything, were a little bit tighter. Um, that it feels like when I'm adjusting the angle here on the screen, like it's easy to slide the switch up and down. Yeah, there's that to me could use a little bit more resistance just my personal preference there. Now, one other thing I wanna check out too is Fixture Gaming does also have this really nice transport case. So we're just gonna drop our switch in there, flatten that out. Oh yeah, not a problem at all. I mean, this is wonderful. This is a beautiful, beautiful package overall. Absolutely love it. And I know many people, myself included, have been waiting for this for some time and I'm glad to see that it is here. It's one of those things that, you know, for the money, again, I just feel is the best handheld experience you are going to find on the Switch. We're gonna actually dive into some slipstream here real quick. And we do have a full blown review of this coming very soon. Yeah, the balance on this is just exceptional. This is, this is what I've been waiting for, quite honestly. And the wonderful thing about this too is the controls, I mean, you shouldn't notice any lag or latency differences whatsoever. It's the exact same as using the, uh, the Pro Controller normally. Oh, that corner always does me in on that track. Oof. This is definitely a challenging racing game. If you're into racing games, definitely check this out. Oof. All right, we're gonna go and we're gonna do a quick test on Street Fighter, the 30th anniversary collection. Ooh, Ryu versus Ken, this should be a good fight. Oof. Oof, got me again. Got him there. Again, just incredibly well balanced. Now, it's a little bit top heavy right now, just the way that I'm recording, because I have the screen a little bit more upright, so it's easier to capture. Um, but the fact that I even have that as an option is terrific. Oh, 
Oh, there goes my perfect. One hit. Um, absolutely wonderful. You know, the phrase must have or gotta own gets overplayed a lot. And I'll admit, I probably overuse it a little bit myself. This is a must have. You, you need this if you have a Pro Controller and a Nintendo Switch OLED. This is exceptional. I have been waiting for this since the day the Switch OLED announced. I pestered those guys at Fixture Gaming. When are we getting one that's going to be compatible with the Switch OLED? And I'm thrilled that it is finally here. This is so well balanced. It is so comfortable to use. It is, again, the definitive way to play your Nintendo Switch OLED now in handheld mode. And the fact that it does work with their existing carry case is terrific. Now, I thought there would have been an outside chance that it would have worked with the original Switch and maybe kind of squeeze everything down a little bit, and it just doesn't. This is strictly for the OLED, the same as the original was just for the original. Um, everything I love about the original is here. It is exactly the same, except for now it accepts the Switch OLED, and that is fantastic. Now, uh, two minor gripes on here. One is probably me whining more than anything else. Having a Founder's Edition on the back would have been really nice, kind of like what the Founder's Edition of the S1 had. That, that would have been nice. Um, I will also say that the rails are a bit on the loose side compared to what the original was as well. Now, that may be something when the production versions go into production that, you know, if they switch over to the blue and the, the red that we have here, that kind of resists the sliding up and down that this is doing here right now. I know I can probably just put a piece of foam or something in there to, to take up that extra space. But man, I've been waiting for this. I've really, really been waiting for this. Now, if you do want to check out our original reviews of the original Founders Edition or the production version or the game case, I will have those linked up coming up for you right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at CastlemaniaGames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.